here's one major thing I see that most independent artists are doing wrong. Uh, there's ego activity and then there's income activity. And I feel like most artists, when it comes to their music, they're doing things that are more on the ego activity versus the income activity. Uh, for instance, I, I see a lot of artists, for instance, they they are constantly posting on Instagram all the time. They're constantly doing every single challenge. They're, they're constantly on TikTok. They're constantly on social media. And the reason why they're doing this is because they believe that the more followers they get, the more people will actually click on the link um, in the bio to actually check out the music. But there's a few problems with this. The reason why I say that this is an eco activity is because it makes you feel good when you get a lot of followers. It makes you feel good when you get comments and likes. And it makes you feel good if people check out your music and say, yo, that's dope, or yo, I love your music. That that helps your ego, but it doesn't help your income. Because if, even if you got a million streams a month, you would still get only a couple of hundred bucks, right? So even if you got tons of followers um, and, and, and people tell you that you, you made the best music in the world, listen, you can have a song produced by God featuring Jesus. If nobody hears it, if nobody sees it, if you don't know how to monetize it, then it's almost like you never made the record. So I see a lot of artists, they don't do income activities. They do ego activities because like I, in my uh, high level creators coaching program, we got people that are verified already. We have people that came in getting a million streams. We have some of the number one uh, people on TikTok. But the thing is, that's all ego. There was no income coming in. You see the difference? So I see a lot of artists, they, they they go to the studio, they get a beat, they record to it, they upload it on DistroKid or CD Baby or United Masters so it could go on all the DSPs like Spotify and Idol and all that. Yeah, you got that part right. But that's only 50%. This is the part where most artists go wrong, the income activities. Because once they actually post it, then they just like upload the video on YouTube or they upload it on Spotify. After that, they just start posting on Instagram, doing these challenges that make them look crazy, that make them water down their brand. Because here's the truth. If you're 25 or up and you're doing the same activities on social media as a 15 year old, only one of you guys look like a fool. So. A lot of you guys are always talking about like the Illuminati and you're scared to sell your soul to the record label. But what you want to admit is you've already sold your soul to an algorithm on social media. You've already sold your soul to that. You're trying to go live every day. You're trying to post at certain times. You're trying to learn the new algorithm. It's like, yo, you're, so you're just a slave of the algorithm. That's crazy to me. Ego activities. But being a slave of an algorithm does not actually bring you any income. So it's, the, it's that part when it comes to artists, they got the creation part down pat, but then the ways they market and promote their music, it never works. Like for instance, you can't name one artist that's ever blew up from a, Insta, uh, from a, from a Spotify hack or paying a promoter or a marketing company or a music promotion company or doing a playlist, bought a, uh, uh, getting playlisted or paying a playlist company or hitting up a blog or hitting up a radio station. You can't name one artist that's ever blew up from doing that, yet every artist I meet tries to do that. That and that, and So that's what I'm saying when it comes to marketing and promoting, majority of the artists literally do not know what they're doing. They're doing things that help their ego. Yes, you yes you make good music. Yes, your music's dope. Yes, yeah, when you go to the studio, you know how to freestyle or whatever, whatever. But what? how's that gonna drive you income? That just helps your ego. Or yeah, you got a lot of followers. Yeah, you get a lot of comments. Or yeah, you get 500,000 streams a, a month. That still can't get you out your mama's basement. That ain't even enough money, 300 bucks. So my, my thing is, the reason why I started a coaching program because I tell the, my number one rule in my coaching program is take your creative hat off and put your business hat on. Because it doesn't matter what you create. It doesn't matter how good the song is. If nobody sees it or hears it, it's almost like you never recorded a record in your life. It only makes you feel good when you know that you're dope. But you know what? You can actually make dope music and make dope money. That's why at High Level Creators in my coaching program, at the least, we have students that's at the least, at the lowest, making $5,000 a month, every single month, at the lowest, because we use real strategies. 
we use real Facebook ads, we use real YouTube ads. I teach them how to build their email list. I teach them how to build a text message community. I teach them how to do digital products, low ticket, medium ticket, high ticket offers so you can actually uh, build your email list and sell them offers on the back end so you can get consistent cash flow every single day. Why do you just want the stream? Why can't you get the stream, the fan, and the income from the same person? It makes no sense. Who cares how great your music sounds? I'm betting on the person who doesn't make good music but does the right strategy. Strategy wins over great music.